done for you, but what has he done for you lately? So uh, I should actually do it again. Welcome to True Death Cast, cleaning out the taint. I brought together PS4, Xbox One, like Spider-Man when he was saving the, the, the Staten Island Ferry, holding both ends and trying to put it back together. So yeah, that's where we're here. We're here to discuss moving forward what we can do to improve uh, you know, the brand as a whole, including Turmoil and Riot. We're here to mend fences, if you will. We're here to talk truth. We're here to get to the bottom of the of the of the issues and we're here to move forward amicably and discuss how we can improve everything and make everything lovely like we used to do back in the day some of the time uh so in brief synopsis jackass got removed for being a jackass and uh here we are so i'd like to introduce first um hall of famer that gets made fun of very annoying person decent human being but very trollish uh the one and only Formerly from Xerox, currently uh, Turmoil Mid to Low Carter, um, Jacob Trance, a.k.a. Thomas Acha. That's you, buddy. Hello. Evening, morning, afternoon. <laughs> Strange upside down time. I don't know. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a former GM who was, no, I'm not GM, I'm sorry, a former, uh, uh, I think, Booker or whatever, who was removed from that for going crazy um he was actually banned from the site for uh quite a while for going crazy <laughs> he's <laughs> he's now back again doing what he got to do not a bad person just a little crazy um white bread milk toast the one and only uh what is it uh, uh hair 17 b17 sir yeah yeah i've actually been fired from every job <laughs> in ocw so that's a fun fact <laughs> <laughs> oh god you have wow jesus christ and uh and finally um the man of the hour the the unsung hero of this entire kerfluffle um some of you may not know him some of you will some of you may be afraid of him uh he's a current uh, hall of famer a huge pain in my ass but a man who i can trust with the betterment of ocw at any cost except not giving him powers because at a moment's notice he would delete the site out of sheer spite and hatred because that's what he does the one and only uh paul pew aka dan hello sir hello hello <laughs> great thank you for that uh awkward introduction okay well i'm trying to do two things at once because i'm trying to uh trying to what? keep the fires i'm trying to put out fires you don't understand how many fires i'm trying to put out at once <laughs> are you causing these fires um no okay just, just just being certain yeah <clears throat> so as i said the issue is we've had you know this uh perceived notion of non-unity between the xbox one and the playstation 4 i had asked people to you know come you know give us some direction in which how to how to some of these issues i guess how to discuss some of these issues so what i do have uh, one of the main issues was was that uh paul puak dan and uh, Cassidy were very anti-turmoil. So I guess we can start with that. Uh, first, I guess, Jamie, do you have, or Trance, rather, whatever, fucking Jamie, like, any thoughts regarding that? He's called Archer. Archer. <laughs> <laughs> All the names. All the names. Um, not as such. Like, I think there was not so much an anti turmoil vibe. Well, there was, but it was perpetuated because it was aimed at more how someone carried themselves and everyone kind of bought into that and thought it was about the show itself as opposed to one individual okay that that's fair um adam and also you you know be be honest because you know so what, what do you think it. i'm not gonna get upset no it's, yeah he doesn't care but yeah i want adam to be 100 percent honest like what did you see and what did you think and you know stuff like that so go ahead adam um well i think the division the, the sense of division started a long time ago and I, I played a big part in it because I was I was feeling marginalized by uh, by Riot and the championships felt marginalized and you know the character development uh, oh, okay wait, let me let me I'm sorry let me let me cut you off on that I, I'm not to cut you off but like like elaborate on that point go ahead uh well before I got banned things started to kind of take a downward turn because I felt that people were watching 
the content and or I felt the people weren't watching the content and that they were just making judgments about how they felt about you based upon how they felt about you know your personal self instead of your character work. Okay. So I felt that our characters were being were being marginalized and it's a big reason why I became very discontent and why I started to play my part in, in trying to create separation. So there was a few people I felt definitely drove that. Um, so who, who do you think? Well, like you said, Cass and Dan, I felt definitely played their part. But also uh, pretty much anybody that I came in contact with after that booking fiasco, the Skull Kids. Um, yeah. I think I left such a black eye that a lot of people on Riot weren't willing to, to really give me much of a chance after that, which I understood, but I didn't like. Uh, so it, a lot of it became um, work to enjoy, and that's not what OCW should be. And once it starts to become work to enjoy, it just kind of slowly gets worse and worse and worse. So a lot of that perception maybe n- might not be fair because I was in my feelings at the time. Okay. So that's something for you guys to kind of elaborate on, I guess. All right. So, so first in context, I guess we're going to start like build, you know the building block. So this was actually last season. But you know it's going to lead into uh, this yeah. season as well, so I just want to make that that distinction. So this is like maybe the middle, towards the end of last season, and then if you want to take it back even to the, what was it, season eleven, I think, whatever. Even that maybe towards the end of that. Uh, so with that being said, um, Dan, your thoughts from that point at least, if you can remember anything from from the booking point, uh, from, from the from the well, people turning on sort of B seventeen, not turning on him. So the way that I saw it, because obviously I'm I don't. I'm not anywhere near as active as people think I am. I just show up, I talk a load of shit, and I disappear. Never, I've not been active <clears throat> in that way for two years, maybe. Probably. To, like, to, it's like Lucian Ten was pretty much when I checked out. So that's what two years ago. Um, but in the in the interim, um, the the riot versus turmoil thing was. I've always said it was a joke. Like I've always said it as a joke. I've just that like, I I don't work for turmoil, so I'm always sort of like. Oh, nobody watches turmoil. Nobody cares about that, and it's just, it's just throwaway stuff. What I didn't anticipate was that this was being collected and taken as being serious. <clears throat> if you know, if you know me, you know my personality is kind of like, I've never, I, I don't take anything seriously. Like, I, I'm at, to put this into perspective, when my nana died, um, when I found out she died, I was laughing about it. Like literally a couple of hours later. Okay, you're I don't take anything seriously. <clears throat> That's, the uh, reason that I don't take anything seriously is because if you take things seriously, then you you can get into your feelings. If you get into your feelings, you get sad. If you get sad, then you start doing crazy shit, which leads me back to B17, who was like, obviously he was pissed off. He was, uh, he was not allowed to be who he thought he was. But the distinction that I've always seen in OCW is you're a handler and you're a character. The handler and the character are always different. They're always completely separate beings. You can't take anything that I say about your character personally, and a lot of people were. So it it kind of became the lines became blurry, and they still are kind of blurry because people think I'm some sort of like fucking evil motherfucker. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later. With, with a fifth, with a thirteen year old's voice, um, <laughs> trying to be mean to people. <laughs> that, that, that's what Parker said. I was it, doesn't, like... it doesn't work. Like it just doesn't work. The reason that any of this even happened was because th- there was a split. There was absolutely a split. The reason that there was a split was because well, the Riot guys saw it as we're going to challenge the Turmoil guys to get to our level. And that, in OCW terms, means we're going to be mean to you until you're on our level. And that's how it's always been in OCW. And I think that the guys coming in didn't didn't necessarily understand that that was what the Riot guys... The Riot guys were trying to light a fire under people rather than you know, bury them, and it came off as people being buried, which is 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 it is what it is. It happened, but there's no, as far as I can, the only the only ill will was ever towards, or whatever we're calling him. What are we calling him? The cheat. The cheat. The only it's ill the will cheat. was ever towards him because he did propagate this this turmoil versus riot thing. He he cultivated it. He built everything around himself he was basically like a garden trellis and if you didn't climb up him you would remain on the floor and that's what it became and that's kind of that's where the split is absolutely 100 percent. nobody on the right side has any problem with anybody on the turmoil side i know that to be completely true i mean there might be personal issues here and there but oh, definitely. There, there is no reason for people to want 
either side to fail doesn't make any sense. It's, it's worse for all of us if we fail. The more we, the more popular we get, the more people come in. The more the more people you can work with, the more fun you can have. It's better for everybody. It doesn't make sense to be telling people that you know we, there is a split and we hate this guy because of this. It's 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 bullshit based on a personal level. And like I've always said, handlers are completely separate from characters. You don't like a character, fine, but it doesn't mean that you don't like the handler. You know, me and me and whoever, me and you can pick any person who I've had some sort of altercation with down the years. There's there's never been a personal issue apart from three times and they're no longer with us. Yeah, you're uh, you are the um the resident uh headhunter. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um in regards to the lighting the fire, uh Adam, and you know, being perceived, I guess, incorrectly, do you have any thoughts? Because I know it's like a different generation now, like most of OCW, like the, the riot is pretty much the, the old country they're all old men they're all yeah. over 30 they're all oh, no. just crotchety people having conversation like literally the way that we are to each other you've you've been in in hoop chat yeah you've seen how we are with each other oh yeah it's even so, worse which is which is yeah. great because you know like if people understood like <laughs> the level of depravity but the idea is to make everybody everybody better but that being said what do you think adam <laughs> regarding like the back then at least uh you know trying to get a fire under your ass as opposed to trying to bury you what do you think i don't think any of us ever thought that you want us to fail but a lot of us felt that there was a hierarchy in place that we couldn't break through in what respects and there was but it was it was a it was an underlying hierarchy that kind of was being built as you guys were kind of so the way that I see it is you guys transferred you to talk about a glass ceiling. And there was a glass ceiling, but it was from within. It wasn't from the riot guys. It was it was the what was happening behind the scenes that was oh. causing a glass ceiling for you guys as far as I saw it. So I saw like when you first came in you rose straight to the top, which is perfect. That's what you're supposed to do. Because there was there was no there was nobody at the top, so somebody had to do it. Yes. So you and Jackson both did that. And then it became a case of I mean, people were behind you from the start. People absolutely were behind you from the start, and I can, I can corroborate. Anyone will corroborate that. Yeah, Mugen mentioned but, that as well. Yeah, but it went into a situation where, sort of, after the booking stuff, I don't even know what happened in the booking stuff because um, I wasn't well, around. This is the this is the weird thing with the book, and now I'm not going to pretend to know all the aspects of it because, yo, dude, um, brain. But I do know that at one point when like the, the people were, were revolting against uh, Jamie because he was actually booking because here's the fun fact that most people may not know. The reason we have a PS4 division is because of Jacob Trance, a.k.a. Jamie, because he was the one like, you know, he didn't want to play on Xbox, which is cool. And he was like, because there was a lot of like, you know, bad blood. So he was like, you know, we should do a PS4 division. And I was like, I mean, I'm OK with it, but uh, you're going to have to run it. And he's like, I can run it. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I'm like, are you positive? He's like, yeah. I'm like, dude don't are you you know because he's like oh me and you know me and so and so can do it so so and so was like nah hey so it's just jamie basically by himself and you know i don't trust people so i didn't give him all the tools he needed in in that respect but i did give him enough support to have the basic framework for uh, uh for turmoil so he's doing what he does and he's doing it the way he does it and if you know to me basically he's very like especially the jacob trans character half in half out which is fine for your character but when it comes to being a gm it's very similar to parker when parker was a gm parker was like me and parker would argue every week i'm like what are you doing why don't you edit this why don't you re- are you reading these are you fucking ro- watching the show and parker just makes a face at me i'm like fuck and you, just, you know same thing same thing with Pew. when Pew was gm it's like god damn it what the fuck's going on because uh. yeah, my idea was that if 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 they can't do it yeah. And they shouldn't be here. Then you know, let them hang. Let them hang on their yeah. work. That which is the, the principle. So you know, he was put into the situation, and because of him, we had a, a PS4 division. And I remember like speaking to Jackson early, early on. Jackson uh, Montgomery, shout out to him and his gigantic YouTube channel. Please uh, help us. Um, so <laughs> I, I remember, I remember having uh, speaking to him, and he was like, you know, he can make an alt, and you know, it was like he was kind of like on on the fence, like I want to do this, but it's like there's not that many people to do, and I'm like, I know. So I basically told him like, dude. Um, you know, you do what you got to do, and if we get people, cool. And we're gonna, and slowly but surely, we started getting people, which which was great. And at that point, we wanted up getting the cheat, and the cheat was like, oh, I ever did was universe mode. So I was like, you know what? We don't have many people, so you can make this universe mode. And I was like, oh god. In retrospect, whew. you did that. Was yeah. That you? In, in retrospect, oh, I'm sorry. Stupid fucker. <laughs> See, I mean, it turned out to be the case. So we fast forward, you know, 
there's a lot of stumbling blocks on turmoil a lot of little and uh, you know in, interpersonal stuff like there was issues with cassidy and and trans which led to that whole weird situation with tank and you know say what We've you will been over that shit in the past though yes yeah. that's, that's, yeah, i'm just i'm just trying to build but like there's little things like for example when like when people revolted against jamie we would back there going ha, 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 that's what you get stupid for not you know being whatever but uh you know and the fo- the point was for change but in retrospect looking back i think that was again you know being worked by some bullshit but um okay so we we covered that little point so now let's move on i guess to um the newer season the current season where i you know i think the season started off uh as far as i can tell fine i didn't see any any specific issue in that respect other than someone wanting something they couldn't have and then cheating um because of it um and I'll, i'll leave it at that so with that being said um I want to know, like, if you, maybe you, Jamie or Adam, you can specify when, like, this rift in this season took place. Because as far as I was away, it was, you know, things were okay. And then um, uh, I'm going to say around the time I think this dude shows up, Dan, is when it happened. When did you show up again? Was it, like, January? No, it was, like, November, maybe? No, or December? No, uh, December. Okay early december because i remember reading reading fucking rage about about you earlier than in, in 2017 but uh and, and i'm well, st- i didn't sign into the site for a good five three months four months oh, yeah yeah i wasn't here in the summer at all no. and all throughout that time there was still this apparently what i've heard there was still this feeling that i was causing problems even though i would i would be in discord talking to people all the time but I was I wasn't even signing into the site. I wasn't active. I wasn't doing anything. I didn't I didn't even watch shows. I didn't know what was happening. Um when I came back I didn't know who champions were, I didn't know anything. And I was still being sort of held up as being this guy who is is trying to hold down turmoil. Like the second I walked in the door I was trying to hold down turmoil. I I hadn't even I'd barely said a word to anybody for three months. Okay. And I came in and immediately I was the enemy of turmoil. Now I know why, because I told Dennis that his angle was shit. <laughs> and I stand by it. I absolutely stand by it because the crown has had no payoff. It has not had a payoff. And it's been two months. It's not even looking like it's getting anywhere near a payoff. The payoff might have been Lucian, but we'll never know now. Uh, um, yeah. So the, the only... The, the problem came about when I came back. There was this feeling that... I mean, I don't know what happened when I wasn't there. It might be something those guys can... like Adam or Jamie can fill me in on, but I... I don't know what happened when I wasn't here. Um, I do know that that was integral in in Adam's banning. I do remember that happening because he would sit in the hoot chat telling us all this shit that Adam had done, and we'd be like, "Yeah, Jay, you should ban him. You should ban him." As like a, do you know? Because we we egg you on to do shit all the time. That's just something we always do. We all get, we sort of like, we we're like the minions in Despicable Me. <laughs> And we just all gather around you and annoy you until you do something. And that was something that kind of understood and kind of pushed us. In, not us, because obviously I, I as, a, as is sort of well documented now, I had a problem with him from the start. Um, but us as in the greater hoots um, would all gather around you and do and kind of knew how to push them, knew how to push their buttons. So he'd kind of get his own way because he could trick people. And that's how he got to where he did. That's absolutely how he got to where he did. He had his finger in every pie and everything. And that's how B-17 ended up being banned. That's how all of this shit happened was he had a finger in it. And a lot of it just is not true. Like you can talk to any... I, I, I honestly anticipate from this that the two shows completely are just hand in hand now. There's no... There's nothing... There's nothing to stop that happening and there's nothing to there's nothing to I mean obviously some people have problems with other people Cass is a piece of shit to most people <laughs> but he ultimately is the reason that has been found out he's doing it for what he thinks is the betterment of OCW and he's a, sometimes he's fucking stupid sometimes he has no brain in his head whatsoever but his heart's in the right place, same as everybody's is. Well, it and should there's be. nobody vindictive in OCW, as far as I can see at the moment. There's nobody trying to get ahead of somebody because this, that, and the other. It's just it should just be a nice atmosphere. It's always just been with with even when like things go wrong in OCW, people always come sort of good in the end. Yeah. Like so, say like 
Jamie, for instance, for, like if you want to say he fucked up with a turmoil booking or whatever, that's fine. But in the end, he's been just a, a constant since the turmoil division started. He's just been a constant guy that you can sort of rely on. And he's been just plodding along, getting on with his shit. And it turned out it wasn't even Jamie's fault, most of it, because he wasn't booking at the time this happened. It was somebody else's stupid plan that, that ended up with him being fired from turmoil. And then it turned out that, you know, it... Most of the stuff that people get blamed for in OCW is not their fault a lot of the time. Mm. It just becomes their fault because that's what the Chinese whispers say. <laughs> and it is like a, it absolutely is. I don't mean the Chinese whispers like music. Yeah, I like mean like it, it's the one. yeah. It just literally it becomes it becomes so overblown. Most of the stuff and it is like high school, like Leon said, it is like high school. But a lot of the time there is a good outcome from it and the good outcome here is that people are now free on the ps4 side what and that's kind of yeah there's opportunity there now what, what i noticed is uh once you know we've been uh excommunicated i mean once i uh did my uh summoning spell to remove the the, 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 the true cancer uh like discord lit up and people are talking and people yeah. are coming to me like bill cosby like me too i'm like oh shit like it's a lot it's it's crazy <laughs> like when you have people coming up from like br people bringing up matches from like a year or two years ago and little funny stuff is like wow are you serious like i never yeah. knew because nobody it's ever so told me it's, and it's what happened was it's every, crazy he was he was skating by on people's goodwill everything that he has done to one person he has done to multiple people so it's what crazy. he used to do i found out was the first match that we had and the reason that i didn't like him in the end well in the beginning was that he hit me with a finish on orange so that we had to redo the match which i thought was just him being whatever it was an accident because he had he had a running signature and a running finisher so i was like at one point it, it made sense that that might have happened it might have switched to a finisher you know it might have happened why would why would i have any reason to doubt him then in the rematch, got me grey. The referee called off the match and he was like, oh, I want to do a rematch with you at Devil's Night. So I said, well, cut the match where the referee calls it off. That's the end of the match. What actually happened was he, the referee called the end of the match and then he put a celebration scene in for himself, which is him getting himself over, <laughs> which is what he did to everybody all the way down. All the, all the two years he was here, he was constantly looking for ways to get himself over. He did it with that match. He did it with a couple of other matches. He did it with deleting matches. All this matches split because he was getting beat up. Random shit that people wouldn't put together because people are independent. You know, you you just want to, you want to see the best of people. You do want to see the best of people because you trust people in OCW because a good point was made by Parker. All we have in OCW is that trust and that honor. We can't, we, we, we don't know that you are not cheating. I don't know if I get into a match that you're not cheating. I just trust that you're not cheating. So the fact that he was doing that, as well as all of the other shit, is just, it's mind boggling. But he was the one propagating it all. And he was the one saying, you know, everybody knows all of the hoots are trying to bring down so well nobody was trying to bring down so well nobody there isn't a, a shred of evidence in the past like six seven months as far as i know that well for that was, um uh, adam jamie you want to chime in um i think what was kind of interesting is obviously we had a terminal chat just basically to talk about stuff that people wanted to do and try and do what i always found kind of suspicious was when i was like suggesting well that's a dumb idea why don't you do this or how about you guys try and build to have like the first ever chamber in OCW etc like that um, or like they haven't had a perfect circle in a while what would strangely happen is Riot would then go and have one but what mm -hmm. I now believe is that as soon as I suggested a good idea run to you guys with it get you to do it then be like ah oh, those bastards they stole our idea that kind of pretty thing much, it was actually him much. taking yeah, all of, essentially him much. taking any any good ideas that I come up with was getting taken and used elsewhere then he was like oh going on about it oh, so yeah. was probably, he was gone. most probably simultaneously logging in his big head and blaming me for everything going horribly wrong um, <laughs> Odd, oddly yeah. enough right yeah so yeah it's, it's one of the funny things I noticed and I'd, I would bring it up in chat and be like it's, it's weird how they seem to do all these things that I want to do and then like they were blaming 
he was essentially blaming like random rookies and stuff. Yes. For, so for what it he would do? Across. What he would do was he would come into the hoot chat with screenshots of conversations that he's had with other people, mm. and he would put them into the chat. So we'd all look at them like, oh yeah, and then we'd all sort of like, oh look at this idiot being an idiot, and then we'd all sort of laugh about it. But Dennis wanted you to think that because he was he was very clear that he was in control of everything. So he needed to, you know, make sure that yeah, if you had an idea, then that was that was Dennis's idea now. Uh, so wait, so before we split on that on that thing, so uh, I know Adam, you're feeling about certain things, so I ain't gonna put you out there like that, but. Uh, what did you see any kind of like like rift in the in the in the private chat because that was the other thing too the other thing was like there was first it was there was like two chats and one one was made and i was aware where i was made because you know there was a whole incoming rift and then in the new season another one was made as well and again what i was told is it's because i, I started getting screenshots and whatever because oh it's it's you know they're blaming they're blaming pew and whatever and i saw like a, a shot from uh from uh cj from i think cheryl from um i think i'm not sure ricky i know i saw austin's one i saw yours as well um and i guess in that under in that aspect i understood why there was a chat but like did was anything being propagated uh like on that level because i've been told certain things but i'm trying to get all angles on it so you know floor is yours sir i can i can i can tell you that when i got banned i didn't sign into the site i didn't check anything for six months so i have no idea in terms of the culture and what happened after i left Mm -hmm. because i I was i was done um i knew i was never going to go compete anywhere else and if i ever did come back it would be in ocw and i'd always been very very fair about that because i felt like this was the best fed out there so i wanted to make sure that if i ever did win a championship which i i still have not won a championship which Shit. is kind of funny when you look at everybody that's coming but i left did not see anything and a big reason why i i will not say anything against it is because at the end of the day when there was the shooting in las vegas what brought me back was um four people got in contact with me jamie seth got in contact with me pam and they all contacted me, asked me if I was okay because I had been posting pictures down at the strip because I was I was down there, and that really was kind of meaningful for me. Uh, it meant a lot that people would reach out that I hadn't talked to in a while to make sure I was okay. So at the end of the day, I'm going to choose to think of that. You know, that was that was that was a good thing for me. That that meant a lot. So maintaining a relationship with him is, is important to me. And, you know, therefore, this this kind of situation does suck for me. So I didn't see anything for six months. I come back, I'm told that things weren't better. And almost the moment I got back, uh, I think the chat was reestablished. And the running joke was, even though I didn't play a part in, <laughs> in making this, this chat happen, was that the server's name was something along the lines of, this was all B-17's idea, he takes full responsibility for this. Even though I didn't build it or anything, that was just what happened. And I think once that chat reformed, the notions that were being held down, we're not getting our fair due, started to return. Now, is that, is that how it was the entire time I was away? I don't know. Jamie has to speak on that. Well, I wouldn't say that the chat wasn't kind of created as a fuck those guys kind of thing. Like, I, I genuinely believe that if people that are on Turmoil roster want their own server, go for it, talk on it, discuss your shit. No one should feel like they have not got that right and such. But, I mean, I never really... I don't really pay attention. I just scroll to the bottom of fucking messages half the time. I do that in the in the general OCW one as well. But sometimes, like people would say, kind of little stuff to see if it would catch on. And that that wasn't just just Dennis. It was other people that are still with us that done it as well. Mm. Um, on the same side of the coin, like I would I would say it myself. Like someone would come in and be like, "Oh, these guys don't like what I'm doing." I said, "Well." Fuck them! Or, well, when you say what yeah, guys, exactly. are you, do, are what you, you mean, doing stuff? For what guys? Are you doing it because you want to enjoy it? I don't, I don't put people under the bus. That's, yeah. that's my gimmick. No, no, I mean, I'm saying like, like when you say wh- like what guys, what guys, like oh these guys are whatever. What what guys are you talking about? Riot guys or other PS4 guys or what? 
In which context? No, when saying, you were saying like someone would like come in and be like, "Oh, these guys don't like my stuff." So, like, do you mean these guys as these riot guys, or so I'm trying to figure essentially out? Essentially, okay. and also Tamil guys. Like, uh, I, there was there was some that didn't know I was in the chat because one of the chats, like, I use my real name and one of them I don't. Like, uh, Trans told me I suck at this. I can't remember what it was. It was something really fucking annoying. It was one of the smaller guys just kept springboarding in a dark match with me and I like chewed him out and he went into that chat and complained about it without realising that yeah, I you was were in there, there. watching oh. it I didn't, I didn't say anything because you know there's nothing in, in the rules against doing that it's look shit yeah 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 the cheat done that all the time as well mm-hmm. um, but yeah the, the chats are fine if, if they want to have a chat they have a chat if they want to shit on people in it they shit on people in it like See, that's, that's, that's that's life that's I mean that is but like my, my thing is it's like you know when like I guess the hoots would do it they'd do it to your face so do it to I, our face I can say this though the the animosity that was felt or any perceived ideas that uh, there was still a glass ceiling was never the same level in the time that I've been back it has never reached the same level as before I left and a lot of that could be because I came back in a much different mindset so I didn't perpetuate it and I didn't really run with it as much as I did before yeah yeah so. I feel like uh, there was a kind of there was people that bought into it and they mysteriously all wound up in a faction with said cheat um, and there was people that just going oh okay cool and then just carried on doing what they're doing which people like Seth myself people have been around for fucking ever Adam Ricky kind of at the end up started getting kind of annoyed but he was getting shot on by Dennis so I don't quite understand in what in what capacity though like actually let, let's not even like go into the whole because I really don't want to talk about the cheat in, in great detail even though it is somewhat significant in the, in the fact that you know I, that's I honestly feel that's the reason there was uh, a riff because as I said like there's little things that I heard uh, but the main the main one was that the guy was was booking for um, you know, for a, a significant amount of time, and in that time, he would undercut the booking. So, like, why would you complain about? But maybe I'm wrong, but I've heard from multiple people that that's the case that he would talk shit about booking. Like, oh my god, I can't believe they're booking this or whatever. Even though he, even though he, he was booked doing it. it. Yeah. Like, for example, I remember one specific one was when I spoke to Cap about it. It was Cap versus versus uh, that that other dude, that Kit dude. Which I'm assu- I honestly think that's an all, but it's, it's, not, it's neither here nor there. So when I saw that match, my first thing was like, why are you booking rookie versus rookie? And, you know, I, I, have a theory I, on that. I hung, hold on. And I hung on that for a hot minute. I'm like, you know, we, we shouldn't book rookie versus rookie because, what you know, when it's your first match, you want to at least be with a veteran that has an enhancement talent so you can, like, get a little a feel for, for what's going on or whatever. And, you know, he basically, his argument was, was something along the lines of, you know, we had, you know, got, got to let these people stand on their own, yada, yada, yada. All right, fine, whatever. So it's not, it's not a battle I'm willing to die on. It doesn't matter. I'm like, fuck it. It's, it's done. It's done. So we'll have that match. So oddly enough, as soon as that match happens, you know, next thing you know, like, oh, I had to, I spoke to Cabo. He wanted to, he wanted to leave and yada, 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 as we spoke on, on the, on the podcast. And like, I, you know, I, I kept him, I had him stay. So to me, I like, this feels like, like a situation that was done intentionally to get some kind of result and that was the result look look, look at the fires i'm putting out yeah the fires that you're making you're putting them out so like you know uh, uh that, so that's from my the outside looking in a lot of the time it looks like he was booking rookie versus rookie so that he could step in and be the hero yeah. um not always because that's absolutely that's sort of it's, it's, i didn't hate the book and i'll be honest with you that's that's that was my issue so i didn't hate the booking and then all of a sudden i get like oh this booking is terrible and whatever but continue your thought i'm sorry yeah, so he basically, so he looked like he would step in when that happened, which is, which is, he just he wanted to be the hero, which is the reason that he never he he was rendering everybody's matches. He was because what I found recently is you, the other day we were talking about um, how we, how to fix turmoil. Yeah, because it isn't broken really. It's no, not broken really. Not really. But when you try and pick through what they were involved in, the two of them, not just the one of them, the two of them, it's hard to kind of without the actual invite like you guys. Um, Archer and B seventeen and, and, um, and us, uh, Austin. Yeah, yeah, and Austin are completely separate. You can see that in the writing. You can see that in everything. You guys were kind of doing your own thing, and you can stand on your own. But you can kind of see where they've got the fingers, like because Pam writes in past tense. Nobody else writes in past tense. I don't know if that's. I don't know if yeah, nobody writes in so past much. tense. But you can see the past tense writing, which says to me that Pam wrote it, and you can see that across the whole of turmoil, even in characters they're not involved in. So. 
you can kind of see that they were trying to control every little thing and it's that isn't the OCW experience. The OCW experience is you come in, you do your writing, you do your matches, and if you want to do more, then you can by all means do more. But if you don't want to do more, you sort of you stand on your own two feet and you make your own sort of you make your own niche and you make your own way. Yeah. The reason that that didn't happen with and Pam ultimately is because they were given what they were given right at the start which is whatever it is they were kind of they were a safe pair of hands so they were trusted Mm -hmm. and then they got to a point where Jamie how long did it take for you to be world champion five years yeah so it took it took me took me three years of actually being here um five six years of not being here it took Sean four years people don't get to that point in a year like he did he was handed so much and he still felt he had to cheat and he still felt he had to control everything and it speaks to his own sort of insecurities that everyone that spoke against him Jet B-17 me when he tried to get me banned he tried to make everyone fall that didn't fall in line with him Mm. and because of that turmoil felt that it was getting a raw deal it took it wasn't getting a raw deal it was just was giving them a raw deal and telling them they were getting a raw deal from jay that's what was happening and yeah the only people that were allowed to get to his level were people that he picked like there was the never famous? anyone because i went through and i was going to do a podcast before before i was i was basically called off last week where he so he hasn't fought a PlayStation like a general population PlayStation player. Um, so out of the I think it's like thirteen or fourteen opponents that he's had over the over the whole time, he's only fought four PlayStation people that that you would consider to be like just general, not Hall of Famers, not you know, not one shot people like Leon or RD Money or whoever. And four in the whole time I've I've competed for that term world title. And the other times have just been whoever decided that he was going to play against, and it turns out might have been cheating against. It's it's staggering the level of dedication to being the guy who was he wanted to be the best. He wanted to be a one Hall of Fame champion of everything, and that was how it had to be. And if if you spoke out against that, then you were an issue, and you were to be um, taken out of the way. So like, or if, or if you told him that he can't have an hour title because he has one already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he he tried to he tried to convince me to unify the light heavyweight and the turmoil title at one point. So when he I was champion last year, so he could have it. Yeah, because obviously he would have been cheating in that match. Well, not obviously, but he could have been cheating in that match because we don't we don't actually know that for. I didn't even know about know. that. That honestly, you don't. You're making you don't an know assumption. where he was. No, I'm making an assumption. We don't know when it began. I'm, I'm, will, I'm willing to bet that at some point he has been shady. If he was, if he was doing it this season, he may have been doing it last season. La- so, no, last season definitely. There's all kinds of. There's all kinds. Of, dude, it's like, like I said, Bill Cosby, dude. From, from all, it's like from people in here and every, like people have sending me messages and questioning all kinds of stuff. I'm like, yo, the thing with Jet was crazy. A Jet, Jet yeah, versus an alt was. What he, he said it went like f- almost. Uh, what, I don't know if it was 40 minutes or an hour and a half. He said 90 minutes. 90 minutes. And he trimmed it down to 23 minutes. You know, and he hit, I was like, come on, man. So, all right, enough. I, I just, I, I kind of wanted to get to the root of, of the thing. I'm not trying to have a, a like, you know, of the cheat, put his finger in my ass moment because fuck him. Um, the thing that I wanted to talk about basically was, you know, other than these preconceptions and these weird notions and also the weird uh, foolishness, um, I know that what I heard a lot of time it was mainly like the names I heard were 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 Pew and Cast, Pew and Cast. Do they even watch the shows? Uh, you know why are they talking like this? Yada yada yada. So I can't speak for them. I mean, for you guys on that aspect, all I can really say is is that maybe when it comes to discussion, and this is an important thing that I, I see, um, people need to maybe Jesus Christ, what's going on outside? Uh, uh, people need to. I guess express their um feel like I guess their thoughts better. For the best example I can give you currently was um Austin said that you know the new ambition era you know he didn't like the name but he left it at that. So I told him to extrapolate and then he did. He explained his reasoning and then that's how we get the conversation going. The problem in OCW is is there's rarely there's ever really any kind of conversation 
it's usually just a lot of like uh, one way traffic, I guess, if you will. And people don't, you know, uh, explain or expand on their ideas. And I think people need to do that to get a conversation going because we don't have to agree on everything. We can agree to disagree, but the conversation has to take place to begin with. And the other thing is, is that OCW is subjective. Uh, there's certain things that people like, certain things people don't like. Jamie used to always constantly tell me that when I wrote or I knew how to write was comedy, which is, it is what it is. Like, I was like, oh, screw you, whatever. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's his opinion. That's his whatever. And if I can't sway him, that's fine. He's entitled to his opinion and we can agree to disagree on my contribution or what I did. That That's perfectly okay. What I need to see now moving forward is I need to see these conversations happening. I don't need people to be immediately offended. Oh, he didn't like my, my, my thing. The same thing that happened with the cheat with, you know, when you brought it up, you actually brought it up in a pretty whatever way. You're like, I, you know, these aren't really good ideas because they've been done before. And all of a sudden you're uninformed and whatever. That's stupid. And that's deflective. But then again, dealing with the nonsense, they don't know no fucking better because they're fucking stupid. Anyway. Um, so Can I speak to that? I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But ahead. I, I think a lot of things that came down to it is, you know, a lot, there's a lot of content to watch yes between riots and turmoil and i have always made an effort to watch both shows but as things went on later got in yeah. and into the seasons i started to only keep an eye on certain people yes. on riots yeah and you know I, I was i told you this yeah i don't think i've ever said it publicly but i'm i'm kind of a closet pew fan I always have been. I don't know. I don't and remember you telling me like that. Sh- I thought you... Actually, wait. You're right. Oh, I'm sorry. Told, you're right. I have no, told no, you that you a few did. times, actually. Yeah, so yeah. I always tuned in to see what Pew was doing. I always tuned in to see what Mugen was doing. Um, and I always yeah. tuned in to see what Trash was doing. You know what? You're right, because I remember... I'm sorry to cut you off. Because I remember you were like, when when he wrote that promo, you're like, see, this is what we need to see. Like, we need to see this, not on the thing. I'm sorry. Continue. But I didn't make a comment on the forums because of the feeling that um, like it wouldn't be appreciated not necessarily by the riot people but you know mm. well, why the fuck you why the fuck you cheering for this guy he's he's one of the people that causes the issues I was always yeah. I was actually always very nervous of making posts and saying that I like something and then people on terminal being upset by that that was actually always a, a legit worry that I had because I didn't want to cause division any more than what it might have already become. Hmm. So it was like Cassidy. I asked him to take, to, you know, to tell me what he thought to take that brief survey. He told me straight out, I don't watch turmoil. So, you know, I think there's a lot of that right now. There's a lot of people who don't watch something because they, they have this perception that it, it won't be good or they won't like, it or they're going to see something that they don't like. No. And the reality is if you don't ever watch it, you're not going to find any of those things that you might attach yourself to and enjoy. I think the problem with, with uh, OCW, honestly, between Riot and turmoil is, is more like what you said. We're all old now. Like we're not, it's just not like, you know, high school kids or whatever. Like this place has been here forever. And I've seen like, like Nate, Nate was champion when he was fucking 16 years old. And now he's, uh, I don't know, 24, 26. And he was just champion like last, last year. It's, it's crazy. So if people can watch what they want to watch, like you do on regular wrestling, if that, if that's your thing, I'm cool with that too. Just whatever you're watching, let us know or let, you know, your, your, uh, your community member know you know that you can you know i see you and this is what you're doing and i like it maybe i don't that's okay like you don't have to watch a show top to bottom because a lot of times it is a lot of work i try to make the shows you know uh digestible and when i was doing doing that cap i was like yeah sometimes they don't seem like as as important and i'm like yeah because it's like four matches but as a viewer it's you can get through uh, uh like an hour 45 minutes an hour 10 minute show then you can like a show that's like on a weekday for like e-fetting shit that that's like two hours like court does not like this shit at all. Like, Corey doesn't find watching the matches entertaining. He finds the role plays and the content entertaining. So everybody has something different. We just need to come together and and discuss or, or have the conversation on what we like and what we don't like. For example, 
Uh, the thing with Ricky was like the the shining example of when you know Cass was like that the Ricky match looked fixed, and then immediately Ricky's like, oh, because Termo's busting their like no one mentioned Termo. Well, Termo's busting their ass, and and this, that, and the third, and riot, you know, riot rookies, yada yada yada. And he's like, and you should talk because your match is fixed as well. And then I had the discussion with you, Adam, and you were like, you you know, like it does look like it was fixed. And I'm like, I explained the story, but you're still like it kind of does, even though I know it wasn't. But that's okay because that's your opinion and you're entitled to it, so we can agree to disagree. That's fine. You should be able to say that without people getting up in there, you know, uh, clutching their pearls and going, how dare you? Like, the only time I say how I dare you is when someone talks ill about Nato Dupree. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's because I'm a fucking mark. Well, that goes back to my original point of the handler is different to the character. You can like the exactly. character. You can think I'm a fucking piece of shit if you want to. But if you like my character, then like my character. It makes no... It, it There's a complete disconnect. And that's something that... It's always it's always been like that in OCW. So if if you don't like Smythe, then you don't like his character. That's just kind of how how people have always thought of it. But it's okay to you know if you differentiate them because I've always said that I'm always in character, and that's that's absolutely the case. If I'm on the boards, I'm going to talk as if I'm that character. That's just how it is. Um, so I'm that's just how I've always done it. And Dude, is it, whether it makes me a mark or whatever. I, I then remember it absolutely does. I remember well, losing a character because of you, losing a person because of you. But to be fair, he was also a narcissist. Who? I don't remember that dude's name, but um, he was in the he was in the chat. He was in the the shout box. This before Discord, and uh, you asked a question, and oh, he yeah, answered it. This. And you oh, go yeah. rather than say thank you, you go why the why the fuck is this rookie talking to me? Yeah, and he clutched his pearls. And like uh, wrote like me, wrote me like this real long thing, and then I think he I think he had another match and he left, but he was like, so so people on the internet under the age of about twenty five are fucking terrified of anybody having any sort of allocation with them. It's just in re- and in real life, I guess people who are young think that they they can't be some sort of disagreement. Or I mean, we're all old enough to understand that if you have a disagreement with somebody, you get to the end of it, shake hands, yeah. the end of it. Is it? We've had disagreements. We've had disagreements over the, the over the cheat, where We've I'm defending you. Where you defend four days? Yeah. <laughs> where I'm, I'm defending you against the cheat, that, uh, and then uh, and then the, um, I'm defending the cheat against you, and, and you know we've had a pretty heated conversations that any normal you know that that I would think that like some of the people be like, well, I'm leaving, but we had really fucking really we've gone to war multiple times, but at the end of the day. You're looking out for, you know, for OCW. And that was the other thing that bugged me too. Like, the main thing that I, and I'm trying to, I try to get this out to as many people as possible. They, and I'm going to keep repeating it to the cows come home. But because we're here now because of the mean man uh, in the chat. Because it was him and Bobby Minio that, you know, motivated me to the point where I'm like, all right, we're back. No, and we, we flat out told you that if you if you didn't pick up the rate, if you didn't pick up your work rate, then we would all leave and start our own Fed. And that still, to this day, wasn't wasn't an idle threat. That was something we were actively doing. We had logos, we had everything set up. We were setting up a YouTube channel. Everything was set up for us to go. And you kind of you went, no, no, don't go. We're going to sort this out. And then it, we sorted it out. I, but, I feel I feel like you're missing something like that. But okay, I don't remember that you guys had your own thing. I think you told me that after the fact. No, no, we we told yeah we told you after the fact, but we oh. were preparing if we had to to go and. Just oh, so you were doing the cheat thing? Else. Oh no! No, no, no. The- what we what we were doing was we wanted an OCW, and you weren't giving us an OCW, so yeah. we were going to move and do OCW. That was <clears> what we were going to do. We were just going to do what we do over there. OCW. And it wasn't a case of. Yeah, it wasn't a case of it was a personal issue with you. It wasn't a case of anything like that. We just came to you and said, "Look, this is what we want to do." we can do it for OCW or we can do it elsewhere. And you picked OCW and we did. And we picked up and everything is, is not perfect. It will never be moment. perfect, but, uh, but it's a lot better than it was. We had what fucking less than 10 members at that point. We had nothing. We riots. Yeah. Yeah. I mentioned that the, the, the funny comment, Oh, if this was right, it would be fixed. No, it wouldn't because riot was one page Crazy. with two it matches. Was, nobody cared. Nobody was here. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that, that's what I'm saying. What was that, Jamie? I Audio, say, I think. Audio I think cut. Out, it's, it's, yeah, it's back now. Oh, okay. Well, did you miss, did you miss something what I what I said or? No, 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 nothing. It was it was a momentary thing. Oh, okay. A few seconds. Yeah. So you know the the bottom line is because because of him and and Bobby and everybody else. That's why we're here now. That's why we had that 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 great renaissance. That's why like the, like everything's better. Like that's why we're getting. 
you know, new members daily until like the thing because I cut off registration. I'll open it back up again shortly. But uh, you know that that's why. And then I and then to that I get well, what has he done for me lately? It's like really, Are you the, the strange thing with OCW is that it will always be a is in some capacity. This will always exist how it does. Um, mm. Even if somebody else has to run it, even if you decide you don't want to do it anymore, somebody will take it off you and continue doing the same thing. I'm okay with that. The the problem is that no, no, well, it's not even a problem really. Everybody in OCW wants the same thing. Everybody wants to push. The problem that I see with um, what turmoil has turned into by accident, through no fault of anybody who's there now, through no fault of these two guys, through no fault of you, mm-hmm. is that it's turned into a title hungry sort of. We need this title. We need this title, and that's because. Okay, they wait, wait, wait. That title. Give me, give me, give me one, give me one second. Hold that thought. Um, Jamie and Adam, do you agree? Oh, uh, Jamie first. Do you agree or? Um, I think there is a bit of a stigma, but there's also this will make people not like me. But no one really likes you to begin with. Uh, yeah, no, fuck you. Um, subjective though, it's all subjective. Yeah. Sure. People that have the title seem to strangely pick very interesting people to work with all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you mean both or, or, or just turmoil? Like all the term, like just term, well, okay. all the titles are in a way, but turmoil kept picking people that wouldn't win. Mm-hmm. And okay. I, I personally feel that was still happening. Mm. And even even when Dennis didn't have those belts, it still seemed like, in a way, whoever was the champion at the time was always facing people that they knew they would beat. Okay. There was never a attempt to push each other competitively, and I think that's something that mm-hmm. needs to that, be brought back. It that was be, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I write very well with this guy. Um, yeah. I have very good matches with him. Yeah, but that's not a good match if you beat him in eight minutes. Yeah, exactly. You should be pushed competitively mm-hmm. and that's, creatively yeah. at all times. That not that just was one or the other. So I'm the sorry point to catch that you. we He's were getting... trying to make like, really strongly the other Rough, day was yeah. that. At the top of Riot, you have like five or six guys that can plug in and play together and work together and challenge each other. At the top of Turmo, you had Dennis versus whoever was below him. <coughs> now it turns out he was cheating as well, which is by the by. But he always had it in a way that he would he would let you get popular enough by yourself, then he would come in and cut you down somehow. That's how it worked. So now you guys have got the opportunity to be like you guys you three guys you austin and uh, b17 are kind of already ready made at the top because that's kind of where you've positioned yourself you were at the top but you couldn't get to the very top because you weren't allowed to now you can and now there's gaps for other people to walk in and if you if you're all on the same level it doesn't matter if you all shit at the game if you're all on the same level it's competitive and it's interesting to watch even if you know even if you're the worst people at the game even if you're the best yeah, people can at the i game, can i it add doesn't something? matter if you're all on the same level yeah, let me let what? me just let me just add something. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm being trying to be very polite. Before Adam speaks, um, that was one of the other concerns that that I had with turmoil. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I gotta go. Don't don't um, you know, when it's pay per view, put your foot to the gas. You, you you gotta go. And I remember the conversation was, oh, we're just as good as Riot on the sticks. And I'm like, maybe. I I I don't know. We like we won't really know for sure unless there's cross compatibility. Like Ricky's on Xbox, but he he's only had maybe one one match, and he he won though, so cool. So like, that's not to dis- discount turmoil like skill wise, because again, as 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 uh, Dan said, as long as you guys are all on the same level, you know, it'll always be interesting. So what what I want to see when I what I'm bringing what I want turmoil to to happen now is to have people bring that competitive edge. Now that's not to say that you know like your content and writing doesn't matter but you do got to step up in that respect competitively and i'm seeing little little things like uh I, without a spoiler cj had a match with uh with cause and i took him aside while i was having a you know a couple beers knocking a couple beers back and i gave him my, my feedback which is basically like i'm when the match airs you you're gonna see instances where i think he's giving up damage and i told him to speak to you know one of you guys or whatever to, to get clarification if if no one told him that he would, you know, that's how he's gonna go for it. CJ's the guy who doesn't win all the time. He's the underdog, but if he's giving away free damage, you know, that's doing him no service. So if 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 what I said was correct and he is giving away free damage, now with that knowledge, you know, now with that new knowledge, he's gonna do more damage, which in fact will make him will make him better in the long run. Like we all 
need to be to be better to the point where it's like okay we're cool one thing the cheat said multiple times is i don't trust that to nobody else which is at the time like okay cool but in retrospect it's like no i'm the only one that has to have this no one else can it's like that doesn't make any sense why is the top scene just the same two people all the time i think the reason why everyone's excited in the discord and the reason why everybody's excited in general is because now other people can rise up and as i said publicly and i said on the discord and i said on the forum and i'll say it here i and i sold to the cap or, or offline i want like you like what we have on riot i don't want to worry about turmoil I don't like just like I don't really have to worry about right like you guys right gives me this stuff I'm like okay cool and then you know whether I like it or not I'm, I don't have to worry about it so I want that to be for turmoil and I want turmoil to have like a solid scene now in the second we'll like after I get Adam starts on the previous comment trying to not trying to jump around too much um oh shit I lost my train of thought <laughs> <laughs> god damn it i worked myself into a shoot but uh but yeah so adam what, what do you think about the you know the with the title picture that it was previously and the whole competitive edge stuff and you know what do you think um, well i have something that it will transition into a conversation that i wish to have in terms of match perception and quality. sure go ahead go um, for it but i feel that i was ready this year to break into that to that main event like, okay i i've worked for a very long time to to get to their level and uh i felt like i was finally right there mm -hmm. and a, a big reason why i felt that is because um you know i was having competitive matches with and i could tell when was getting frustrated in the matches and i could start telling when he actually started trying he would start taunting more getting those boosts and i was i was hanging with him i was beating him in quite a few and then i had the match with pam and i know a lot of people like a lot of people on Riot didn't like it, but a lot of people on Turmoil did like it, and I felt it was a very competitive match. You know, I, I you know, I asked people around, is many people getting dinked to red, and I, you know, I was able to get there. I was able to get a finisher off. I felt it was competitive. I felt it was, I felt I was getting to the point that I needed to be to beat them. So I felt I was ready to enter the main event scene, and I hadn't been there um, for a long time. So. I never felt that anything I was doing was hunting for titles. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I think I feuded um, out of title more than I've feuded for a title. Okay, um, yeah, you're, Jimmy, you're right. I feuded with Jackson, I feuded with Jimmy, and none of those were title hunts. And I never got the perception that people were hunting for titles. I got the sense that people wanted titles, absolutely, yeah. that they that they were definitely aiming for it, but I never got the, the sense that people... We're just aiming to get to that point. Okay. And that was the only thing that they concerned themselves with. Um, I just felt like it was a natural build and I was ready to be there. If anyone else had felt that way, they hadn't expressed it to me. If anyone felt that they should have been going for this title or this title, they never expressed it to me. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I never really kept track of who was working with who and if it was going to be an easy win or not. I, I really didn't ever watch that. So that's something that Jamie might have to kind of elaborate more on. But that comes back to I had a match with Ding. It wasn't well received by Riot. Um, okay, let me just for one second and you continue. I, I, I don't want to cut ahead. you off midway, but the thing was... It, uh, it was competitive. The, the, what I what I think that what you don't the part that the reason Riot wasn't a fan of that match was because as I said the moonwalking was ridiculous. So it was it, competitively it was sound and it was it was good in that sense. But the moonwalking is is what fucked it up because if you notice the match with uh, with Jet, which which I love for some reason, but everyone else is like this is the boringest thing on the planet because you guys kept staring at each other like well, no, I, once I, again, I before you go ahead, go ahead. Um, once again that was you know riot spoke out against it but you know i've been doing those surveys a lot lately because i like i want to see what people are thinking and that was the second best received match it, it, a lot of people in turmoil did respond to it so before you continue and you can both dan can and jamie can touch on this because they'll be more experienced with it i like the new style of WWE because it's the only style I've ever ever experienced competitively. Mm -hmm. Like I've only ever known four reversals. Yeah, and I like it because I feel it adds an extra level of strategy to it. Depth. And you're right. I did walk backwards a lot from Ding a lot a lot because because Ding is she Pam had tremendous spacing and I could not outspace her and I I, I tried to. 
do what I could to stay within the match. And it's actually a style that I use a lot because I've become accustomed to trying to counter people from that because of the reversal strategy. So I'm not trying to do it to to be a douche. I'm not trying to do it at all. I'm trying to be competitive with something that I'm comfortable with doing. And we seem to have a disconnect in terms of how people perceive those. One side likes it, the other side doesn't. So, you know, continue and hopefully you can hit on that because that's something that I've always been curious about. So, you know what? I'll take I'll take that to uh, to Dan. Uh, your thoughts. So, the first of all, most of most of the guys that are on Riot obviously played the game on 12, 13. So, we've played the game without reversals. Without reversal limits, sorry. Where you mm-hmm. just basically... you If you don't reverse, you don't survive. That's just how it is. If you don't know how to reverse, then... You're gonna get fucked up. Don't forget when um, you can inverse re- uh, reverse infinitely, and we had to do that weird thing. What? Remember when, we, when oh, reversing yeah, we was super easy? I don't know. Dan All right, I'm sorry. Cont- I don't mean to take you out. Let you do to me, but go ahead, continue. I'm sorry, continue. Yeah. So basically, what the, what the dis- the difference is is that so I watched the Jet versus B17 match because Jet was asking me for advice on on sort of everything. Basically, he's asking me for advice on promos, how he does his matches, move sets, just everything. He wanted he wanted somebody to look at his stuff and be like you know tell me where i'm going wrong and i didn't see him going wrong in that match the only thing that i saw from both of you is a lack of aggression so if you watch a uh, mez versus was it mez versus kd a couple of weeks ago uh yes wait you mean on ride yeah, or so, you mean on thing the pay-per-view <clears throat> i can't remember where it, oh it was the prime it yeah, was prime. it was prime on yeah mm-hmm. something and they just beat the fuck out of each other and it went like 10 minutes and that was it and that's kind of like what matches used to be like so that's what riot likes now turmoil are all new guys, pretty much. So turmoil might have a different perception of sort of what they like, and that that's fine because they're all new to this. They don't. Some of them might have played in the past, like Jamie definitely has. A couple of other vets that are now there will have played in the past, but the di- the the difference is just from that. That's all it is. So they have a different. The riot guys are here. To, they, they kind of their mindset is fight, fight, fight. You guys tend to have a, a mindset of like I'm going to be more tactical. I'm going to kind of stand off you a little bit and see what happens. Me personally, I don't care how you do it. The only thing that I that is a bugbear of mine when I've watched Turmo, which I've done more than I've watched Riot this season. If like full disclosure, I have I've watched more episodes of Riot of Turmo than Riot this season, just because I kind of skim Riot. It's kind of I know everyone, I know what people are doing because they're talking about it all the time in Discord, so it doesn't really have any effect on me. Turmo said I don't know what's going on, so I tend to watch it more, and the matches tend to go a lot longer than the Riot matches. I don't know why. It might just be the like a different way of playing the game. I don't really know. The game might play different on PlayStation for all I know. Smoother, but yeah, they they kind of go they kind of go a lot longer. So the kind of you know the perception is the matches go on forever because they're not aggressive enough. And I don't know. I don't know. It's a half and half per per, per thing because yeah. like I've been watching ro- matches recently and they're some of them are long and some of them are um are actually like the uh the like again the CJ Cos match is pretty pretty short. The uh the capital match is like like nineteen minutes. I was like oof, but uh, yeah. continue. I, I like a match where there's like you don't need you don't need to kick out four finishers. Like going into the chamber, the reason that you might have thought it was fixed was because if you go back and watch it, there is a finisher limit that we all agreed on in that match. So some people will did stay down because they were kind of I don't need to go any longer than this. I've done my bit of this match, and the reason we did it like that was so that the match didn't go because a chamber can go two three hours sometimes it can like it, it has done in dms before yeah. so we basically said this is how many finishes you've got if you take this many finishes then just just bow out of the match and that didn't happen to me because i only took one finisher throughout the whole match i just fucked up the kick out at the end but the the whole perception of it was basically so the riot guys control the match in a, in a different way than the turmoil guys and that's fine it's absolutely fine because that's kind of the only way that you guys would change how you play is if you consistently played against guys who are more aggressive. That's just kind of how it is. So you guys play guys who are spacing and trying to trying to be more tactical about it. And it is, it's just a different style. And the reason it's a different style is because you've, you've not had exposure to the old style. The old style is fuck someone up until they block you. That's just what it is. And you guys' style is you've got four reversals so look after them and what I have noticed from tournament matches is a lot of guys so there's a lot of talk I noticed it this morning on the advice thing was that um, a lot of people are like oh I don't want my finisher to have a mid reversal in it 
Whereas on Riot, it's you don't let them have a mid-reversal. You don't let them manage their reversals in that way. And on the turmoil side, you always notice that a lot of guys kind of hold change their reversals their a lot set. better. I mean, they might, yeah, they might change the moveset, but they hold their reversals a lot better than the Riot guys do. You'll see, if you start punching somebody on Riot, nine times out of ten, they'll burn through all the reversals. I played Parker in the Hardcore Classic a couple of weeks ago, and we were both down to no reversals <laughs> almost instantly because yes. we just beat the fuck out of each other for 30 seconds and that was it. <laughs> that never happens on the turmoil side because you guys have, have learned to play the game differently than we have. We're savages in that regard. You guys are kind of more more nuanced in that sense. I'm not saying that's the same with everybody, but for the, for the most part, people on Riot want to see a, a, a just pure aggression. A fight. People on turmoil want to see a match. They, that's kind of it. So... But but and the, and the thing with moonwalking is like it just. I, I, I don't think there's a problem with moon. There's always been a problem. Well, with no, moonwalking. you were one of the people that were complaining about it. Or were no, you? I was saying, I I wasn't saying that that there's a problem with moonwalking with everybody. I was saying no, not with everybody, match, obviously, but like the B seventeen uh, uh, um, ding match that was that was the issue because he just kept. It's like yo, he's scared, so he just kept backing up all the fucking time, just fucking fight. That was the thing. And well, then in the jet match, yeah. he was like, you know, they got more aggressive, but they were still kind of like having these weird staring contests. Like we need, yeah. like I want to see the aggression because also the matches go shorter. And I know there was like some rookie, like there was some weird rookie with those like, dude, those weirdos that they were like, oh, about moonwalking and, and what if it's a broker don't fix it. Like I, I just, I don't like seeing moonwalking. It just feels like, it just feels like, I, I don't know, man. It just feels like. I, I Before we, you kind of, transition to the next thing i want to point out that i've had quick matches like i've gone against cj and i i, I beat the crap out of him really fast uh, the same thing with ricky i've had fast matches it's very possible but when it came down to jet and when it came down to ding they're much more nuanced than how they're going to go about things so i had to be much more nuanced than how i went about things like i had to be i had to be strategic that's how i pers- that's how i look at matches now like I just, I have to, I have to be smart when I with the reversals because everybody in turmoil is playing smart with their reversals now. So that's what I have to say in terms of that. So I can leave it there. And I'm not upset with my play style, and I don't, I don't feel the need to change it. I, I, I hear people say don't moonwalk as much, and I say okay, don't spend as much time walking backwards. It's fine, but I'm never going to stop spacing. I'm not. That's just that's how I've learned to play the game. And that's how I like to play the game. I like to manage my reversals, and a lot of people on Turmoil do the same thing. Yeah, that's what Dan said. Like yeah. Dan said. Yeah. I don't know. Personally, I just 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 beat the fuck out of each other. But you know, it's a preference thing. I just I just don't you, like seeing you gratuitous. You can beat the fuck out of each other and still manage your reversals. So you you can do that. But it's just a different it's just a different environment that they've kind of been brought up in. That's just it. Like it's just. If a few more Xbox guys went over there and and started playing with PlayStation guys, then guarantee the playstyle would would alter to because you can't you can't moonwalk somebody who's constantly coming at you because that's what used to happen with Parker in the olden days. Parker is somebody who will just keep keep coming at you. He'll keep punching you. He keep grabbing you. There's no way to get away from Parker unless you you can reverse. That was the only way to get <laughs> yeah, away from Parker. I remember back and in the day. It's still the case now that you cannot get away from Parker. If he's standing face to face with you, he's going to fuck you up no matter how many reversals you've got. So you either manage him, like it doesn't matter if you stand across the ring from him, he's coming to you, he's going to be hammering that X button, <laughs> and he's going to be trying to kill you. And he's going to be camera. You, you don't, there is no, you, you can choose to play this game any way you want, but ultimately the people that are going to excel in this game are the people that. I, I, more aggressive that's just it yeah. more aggressive people will you can be passive but you're not going to get to a certain point the more aggressive the more aggression that you show yeah you might crash and burn but all the, but you could win but you might you're more likely to win in my my experience yeah. unless you're h2o and then you just beat the fuck out of me and i beat you anyway all yeah, right so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna close out soon because jamie's hungry i'm hungry and but i kind of want to take a couple of minutes to just discuss what we can do to turn on moving forward in addition to that in, in you know i've had conversations with people about you know transparency and stuff and the thing with, with, with uh you know with this kind of stuff is some stuff you should know some stuff you shouldn't because half of this time it's a, it's it's a surprise assuming you get permission from people and if, and the people that need to know know a surprise is always a welcome addition in this kind of stuff and i'm, I'm assuming everyone agrees with that if they don't you're retarded anyway Moving forward, I just want to know, like, um, and in the fa- in the thing of transparency, 
the current booker right now is is Austin Lee. He's the one that's helping. In addition to that, Nate. Nate is also, you know, liaison with the GMing. And I'm also, you know, doing my part and trying to piece together stuff. Uh, again, my door is always open. People are actually coming to me and giving me information. Like, I, I'm getting some information. It's just that trying to parse that information is a little daunting. But for the most part, I'm going to do the best that I can. But as long as people keep continuing to come to me and let me know, you know, rough ideas or whatever, then we can plan accordingly. Now that, moving forward with turmoil, there's a lot of questions about what happens at the top now. Uh, I want to do like a little survey with the different options. I know some people have, have mentioned like an S cup. Some people have mentioned, you know, uh, you know, some kind of like, uh, like tournament. I know some people have mentioned just having, you know, picking like three people who I assume would be like top tier guys and having them, them fight like kind of soon. And then, uh, for the contender, we do some kind of a tournament and that those people meet up at Turmoil 200, which is going to be like the full reboot of Turmoil. Uh, one thing that, that uh, Pew Dan said that Turmoil 200 needs to be PS4 WrestleMania. It's going to be huge. We're going to have like all kinds of, you know, it's going to be dope, but yeah, I got to help us get there. So whatever you got cooking this really, really good goes on Turmoil 200. So it's going to be... I think you even... As a turmoil person, what's the next pay per view? Road to Glory. Yeah, Road to Glory is maybe four Ignore or five it. weeks away. So there's ten. There's ten spots on Road to Glory. And uh, no, no, any, any, anywhere between eight and nine. I try to keep them like small now. That's it's, the that's issue. Not the point. The, the point I'm making is Go there ahead. are limited spots on Road to Glory. Yes, there yes. are unlimited spots on Turmoil 200. Yes. So if you've got a feud, your payoff happens at Turmoil 200. If you, so, so basically the way that you look at it is I. A lot of people don't know what Ambition 50 is, but if you go back in the archive, what we did was we had a completely... It was it was me and Tiberius Dupree who were booking the whole thing, and there was a completely clean slate of characters there, which ultimately, that's what Turmoil is right now. There's nobody tainted. There's, no, there's nobody in a position where they're better than anybody else. There's a couple of guys who are head and shoulders, and they've, they've, they've sort of positioned themselves there at the moment, but for the most part, there's a lot of opportunity. So what you do is you basically go... I want to work with this guy. We're both going to make each other better, and this is where we're going to pay it off. That's all, that's all you need to do. You don't need anything crazy. You don't need time traveling. You don't need fucking. You don't need anything that happens on Riot because Riot's turned into an anime show. You you look at Turmoil <laughs> and you say, "This is professional wrestling. This is the reason that I want to fight this guy, and this is when we're going to do it." And that's it. You don't need anything else. You watch. Go back. What I said to Jet a couple of weeks ago was. You can write whatever you want in OCW, but if you write wrestling promos, you will get over. That's that's how it's always been. The people who can write like a wrestler will always get over. The people who want to write fucking nonsense will write nonsense <coughs> and make people laugh, and that's fine. But if you if you want to get over in OCW, and you're not Drago because Drago is a complete Drago's an anomaly. Yeah. You're not Drago. Nate Ortiz got over by being a wrestler. I got over by being a wrestler. Tiberius Dupree, before he went mental, got over by being a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> if you position yourself as a professional wrestler in OCW, you are going to be head and shoulders above a person who positions himself as a valet of somebody. Or somebody's gimmick is, I, I don't want to bury Danny Boyd, but his gimmick is, I am a gay man. That's not a gimmick. Unfortunately, that's not a gimmick. Um, his gimmick can be, he's Liberace, he's the ultimate showman. That, can insinuate that can sort of play to the fact that he you know might be a gay dude but it doesn't matter that he's a gay dude the point is is the ultimate showman and this is what he's going to do in the ring yes there's so many disconnects just because you see something mental happening on riot ignore it riot is something different a riot has become like i say riot has become anime well it's Turmoil it's a it's a floater it's a professional show, yeah. wrestling show so I'm shouting, I'm shouting over no, you. What are you saying? No, I was saying like I, I, I'm imploring people, you know, to, to PS4 to use the riot, riot time, like if they need extra time for like sh angles and shit. And I'm also putting PS4 matches on riot as well. But continue, continue. Yeah, you do it. So all I'm basically trying to say is treat this not like WrestleMania. Treat this like Wrestle Kingdom, where it's it's. It, all you need to do is have a problem with somebody in order to want to fight them doesn't matter what the problem is he could knock your shit over in catering but i'm going to fight you because you knocked my chicken off my plate <laughs> it can be as simple as that if you can write promos and you can have a good match at the end of it it doesn't matter what it's about oh my god so okay um uh jamie thought um dan kind of knocked it on the head a lot of people will go well what's your character i'm a baker cool 
but there's Why many facets. Yeah. yeah, there's many facets to being a biker other than I have a bike. I mean, Turmoil went through a fucking period where four people had motorbikes, and I think by yeah. the end of the show, only one was left. Yeah. Because they all get burned. Um, it's like the, the gay example, like Goldust, if I'm not he's just the gay guy. He's, but it's gimmick. No. It's part of his gimmick. Yeah, he's, like a gimmick uh, isn't one thing. A gimmick is a character, not. Well, I, actually, let me rephrase that. A gimmick is one thing, but a character is made up of multiple new ones. Gimmicks, gimmicks, yeah. Yeah. I um, mean, people don't do that. Like, people just. Fair enough. People want to turn up, do, do a match, got a promo. Fine. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But it's like everyone is a stereotypical angry young man. And I can only read yeah, so many a lot angry of it young is man like, promos like before Ring I of Honor up. looking dudes. Like it's like there's a lot of Ring of Honor dudes. Remember back in the day, OCW was full with juice heads. Now it's full with like vanilla midges. Who? That's that's my fault. Sorry, brother. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. going going forward, all people have to do is put in what they want to get. Out. Mm. Mm-hmm. If you put if you put stuff into shows, you'll get more from shows. If you complain that you're not getting anywhere, then you're going to continue. You can be booked on right if you're not getting booked on turmoil. We're trying to give as many yeah. people as many spaces as possible. Um, at, I'm not cutting you off, Jamie, but um, Adam, what do you what do you see going for? Because I have another que- I have another question to pose. I have two more questions to pose, and we can wrap this up because we're all hungry. So, Adam, your thought? Not even lunchtime for me yet. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm upset with the situation that we have in terms of you know the bannings and whatnot but i'm not unhappy with the future of turmoil because i can look right down the card and i don't feel very i don't feel uncomfortable with it at all because yeah. i've been writing and working with jamie and austin since since i don't know for almost two years can i make a comment jamie. about that go ahead so i'm i know I, i'm stay cutting people off especially you my bad but i just because i'll forget uh, when it comes to objectivity, and I just need to get this out, the the whole Invictus and the Roadhouse, to me, it's like a mango, guava, peanut butter milkshake. You might like mango, you might like guava, you might like peanut butter. Together, you might like them, but it's really hard to get through. I don't know what it is, but y- y'all work is not bad, but it, for some reason, like, my, my fucking head bleeds over trying to process it i don't know what it is about the right i don't know i don't know what it is something about the writing like there's too much going on at the same time and it's like fuck i just had to get that out because like <laughs> i'm sorry that, that that i just i'm sorry i had to get that out continue adam uh well do you want to address that first or i just i don't know how to address, explain it like address, address it yeah, well address. i i think it's because i like i see a lot of role plays um I know, like, one people, one person, like, Flo, was like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. I'm like, you don't have to go crazy because you got a guy like Sean McGee or Katie who don't even have PCs who do role plays and it still gets the point across. You don't, you don't got to be elaborate. Well, I KD, think KD is a special case because KD f- can't write by his own admission. He cannot write. But what he did was he pointed his fucking camera at something and cut a promo. And that's regardless of whether they're good promos or not. That's that's subjective again. Yeah. Um, they. They're a, they're a different way of expressing yourself. He's still expressing himself. He's still doing what the top people are doing, but he's found a way that suits him. That's all you need to do. You don't you, you don't have to be fucking William Shakespeare in order to get over in OCW. All you need to do in OCW is be able to get your point across. If you can get yes, your point across, yes, yes. then you've you've done it. That's what all you need to do. Get your point across. You don't even need to win matches. Spider's not won matches. Spider, you can count the amount of important matches that Spider has won in five years on two hands. He has not won a lot of matches, but he is over as fuck because he's just he's and he gets close. His character. And he, he gets what? close. He gets close to winning as well. Yeah, well, I think I think that's matter. that's that's a change. With like a lot of turmoil, like a lot of not a lot, but certain turmoil guys who would be considered in this in the Spider category, they don't come like close. So it's like I know I know there was an argument, especially with Jet, when Jet was like, "Why is uh, it was CJ who who defended against?" I mean, it was Seb who defended against CJ. And he's like, "Well, why is he fighting CJ? Because CJ doesn't win, you know, doesn't win matches." And it's like, I mean, I kind of get that, but you know, that's when it comes when it boils down to it. But to the point that I was making before, I, I went crazy with the with the Invictus stuff. It's like trying to get through it. It just feels like there's like a lot going on, and it feels very overwhelming. And I think that you guys can either break it up into multiple chunks which you you guys do usually one or two uh, parts or just like it just feels like you're saying a lot 
but I'm not getting what the point across is. And and for me as as a reader, I actually get frustrated. I'm like, well, what the fuck is the point of this? Like, what what am I reading? Like this, like it's like all right, there's a thing, and then there's a fight, and then this guy's talking to this lady, and the lady's talking to Archer, and then Archer's talking to B17. B17's making some prophetic point. Austin's being, what the fuck is going on? It's like, oh my god, dude, it's crazy. So uh, I'm that- sure Jamie has his own opinion, but I, here's <laughs> what I think is happening. Um, we all have characters that we've spent so much time building and, and making into what we have. That mm-hmm. We all have these inside jokes. Um, we all have these these, these moments where I, I think all, I I'm, I think all three of us are having so much fun yeah. writing stuff and pitching stuff. Yeah, that we have so much content, so much, so many ideas that we that we want to get across. You kind of put them all in, right? Really d- distinct characters. Um, and. We, we spend so much time checking each other and saying, hey, what about this? What about this? Nah, I don't like that. And then we when we do put stuff together almost, you know, two, three weeks in advance sometimes, yeah, you know, things change and all three of us just have very distinct personalities that we want to get across. And I, th- I can understand why um, you can have frustrations with reading it. Uh, but at the same time, I think it will get better as we become better at doing what we're doing in terms of Invictus and what it's trying to be. Yeah, it will get better. I know that much. Uh, well, in terms of the writing quality. Yeah, well, and the no, no. The quality. That's the thing. The, the quality isn't bad. That's what. That's what I'm trying to emphasize. It's just that for me personally, as a reader, like it just feels like there's a lot going on. Like it can be almost compared to Bobby Minio's promos. But like Bobby's Minio promos are huge, and you know his problem is spacing. Like, but you know, like letter spacing, hitting space bar, whatever. But like, I I get the point he's going for i get what he's doing and then it's done like it just feels like with, with you guys and I, again i'm not it's not it's me you know being objective and extrapolate it just feels like there's just so much thrown at me at the time and i'm like yo what the fuck like and then someone gets hit with something and end scene it's like jesus christ man is this fucking yeah, cheers you, it, feel, it feels like, it's, like it feels like it's condensed it's, it feels like it's cheers at 2.5 speed <laughs> the the irony is the setting has is. been lifted from tears. Yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. See, motherfucker. Oh, he faceless We're leader doesn't right faceless technical. leader doesn't read. Fuck you. So yeah. So uh, I'll continue your, your previous point on that I cut you off. My mistake that you were saying. I I was actually it's, it's pretty short and simple. I don't I don't see much being changed or needing to be changed. Okay. Because we do have people that are ready to move step up and yeah on top of the, the card and I, i've always felt that we did have people that were ready to be those characters okay. at the top of the card so and we, i know that we have mid card oh go ahead oh i'm sorry yeah let me let me i'm i'm, I'm not again i'm rushing because it's you know we're trying to eat on time but i know i know the let me let me ask you this because this is another discussion that that was being that was being had by the secret service and then gm booking or whatever is um the amount of because there's a lot of people on turmoil but the amount of actual gold because right now we have television which is seb we have uh the international which is vacant and then we have uh you know what's coming down the pipeline so that makes three and then with cold terror what they're doing eventually is going to be four so a lot of people were saying that why don't we just get rid of the middle one and just have tv eventual tag the floater um the floater women's and then the top one so my thing is like I feel like if we do that, people are like oh, but then you know what? Uh, we don't have a belt, blah 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 blah. But then by the other token, I'm like, well, then now you have to focus on actually a good storyline because just being a champion, you know, is one thing, but it's not the end all. You also kind of gotta have like a good story. So let me ask both of you, and again, I'm gonna ask the term Rossi because nothing's in stone yet. Still work on it. So if you just had like those two options, would it be an issue? Do you think, Jamie, or? Um, I think I think four is the perfect number, but it depends how you decide to do it. You yeah. Obviously, you should have your big belt. Yeah, big belt. We, we have, have the big belt. Well, it's going to have you a big have, belt, yeah. You should have your undercard belt. Well, not your undercard. You should always have your... The first one. Upper, yeah. Which would be like your international. Tag is fine. Tag obviously floats up and down the card, depending on who has it or who yeah. wants it or what people are doing. If you have a fourth belt, it shouldn't... You've already got two singles belts. You've got a tag belt. You should always have a gimmick belt. Now, yeah, it's someone's on the side too. To, yeah. I, I, I always think shows the shows should mirror one another. Yeah. And the aspect that turmoil, not turmoil, Riot has its big belt, its metal belt. No. Its no, belt. no, no, no. Riot, Riot has, I'm sorry, Riot has uh, OCW Championship, light heavyweight, and then the tag and women's floats. That's it. There's no mid. Well, 
I, I, I think you should always have a top, a middle, a gimmick, and a tag. Mm. The problem with a gimmick is, you know, it's it's a problem that's that will feature. But if you make it a light heavyweight belt, ninety percent of the roster is light heavyweight. Yeah. So that's that's where turmoil would have to go down a different lane from Riot. Where Riot yeah. has a light heavyweight belt because a lot of the guys in Riot, let's face it, are big. Turmoil, in its sense, would have to basically have the hardcore title back, which again is some it's a different yeah, style. I... That's that's the point. It should always be two belts for people of similar styles, different levels, whatever, and then something that's completely different. You, there's no point having a third belt that's just the same type of matches, etc. Yeah. What do you, On that what point, do you think? There's been Adam? a lot of hardcore matches this year um, for no real reason other than to have hardcore matches. They're kind of fun. Um, there's, there's just there's so the hardcore title could exist, but that should be the only place you see hardcore titles. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Um, well, well, you could easily do that. You could have the hardcore divisions there. Those are the only matches that are fought under hardcore, unless you go to jail. Like we've had a feud for three months, we want to kill each other. Yeah, and then you'd get it. That makes everything make more sense as opposed to, hey, hey, I just joined. Well, you want to have a cage yeah. match? My, yeah. my, my thing is, is like I, 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 I like where turmoil is at when it has you know tv in and then the top one because i think there's enough of, of a roster to support that but it's just that we really do have too many goddamn belts like it's it's crazy well, if you had like like jamie was saying if you had uh, if you mirror the title so what you have is two world titles however you want to space that call them whatever you want to make any difference really um two medium tier titles in the continental us whatever you don't need low tier titles because they're they're stupid so you have the light heavyweight title and then you have the women's title on one and then that's that. Mm. And then the tag titles float, but you could just have two sets of tag titles as well because there's two. there are two distinct tag divisions because yeah. the problem with having floating titles is that you can't then... It, if you want to defend your title against a team on turmoil but you're only have an, you only have an Xbox, then you can't do that. Yeah. So it makes sense to have two sets of tag titles. Um, Oof. but that's kind of that. that's a decision not for me to make yeah no but that's, like, that's, that, that, that's, just, that's where we're at it's, it's, it's kind of crazy because I honestly think about the three but that's you know here though there now um, uh, your thoughts Adam uh, I, I agree more with Dan than uh, than Jamie in terms of four I, I, I would like to see just from the Termos perspective the world belt the TV belt being the mid card belt, I don't see a need for the international international belt right now. Yeah, yeah. But I do see a need for the tag team belt. Okay. Um, I really like the tag team belts. The, some of the most enjoyable matches I've had in OCW have been tag teams. Yeah. And it's it's like we do have the numbers, and we do have people that have connections that would work very well as a tag team you okay know, jets boys are coming in and they're yeah i think that would be a good place for them to start and then you know i i think that if i could break it down we have enough people um to make a, a legit tag team division yeah um, definitely a really solid five person rotation for the mid card and then we would still have four people left over to challenge for the for the top belt and as soon as the top belt time stuff is done and that moves on like i see a faction in invictus that can move throughout the card and have a lot of fun with it because that's just you know that's what's what we would enjoy doing the woman's title is the only title i see that should float or should be over on riot exclusively right now because they have better female characters and turmoil needs to develop their female characters right now so we need time to do that yeah that's where I stand. I, I want the tag team belts back on Turmoil. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they should be floaters or if they should be separate divisions. That's not something yeah, that's I really not for you. Yeah. to speak on. All right, well, it's good. That, that's why I want to post that to the people because I know that a lot of people are hungry and they feel that like you know a, 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 a championship would, would quantify their stuff. But this is the other thing with, with the Riot stuff that I, that I find. Everyone on Riot has been champion other than, than Boob sadly but so any, anybody hold on and anybody that you know they don't want it but if they get it they're gonna fight for it and if they get it they will do right by it if that makes any sense yeah the, the interesting thought of it you, the way that you need to think about it is that so a world champion is say you do just a normal three-month feud 
that means the world champion only or will only fight four people in a year for an actual title feud. So yeah. you can't put all of your like you can't put all of your chips on I'm going to get a title match because if the feud goes three months, two months, whatever, there's a finite amount of people that can fight for that title. Yeah. Unfortunately, in a year, so the best thing to do is the same thing we've all done is feud without a title just feud 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 and the second that somebody notices that you're feuding a lot they will keep an eye on you when you get to a point where they think you can be champion you will be in the in the conversation to be the next challenger that's how it works that's how it's always worked it didn't work like that however long um the cheat's been booking it now does work like that again and, and I have no no doubt about Austin because he's an old school guy. Jay, Nate, who's an old school guy, will all do right by you. If you show up and do what you're supposed to do, the title will take care of itself. You don't need to worry about, I need to be champion because you don't need to be champion in OCW. I'm not a champion. I've not been a champion for ages, although I was for a long time. Jamie isn't. B17 isn't. Never Austin has been. He never, been, never, yeah, has, never been. has been. Been fired from every job, has never been champion. So <laughs> he's done everything. And still hasn't been a champion. So put that into perspective in your head. You don't need to be yeah. champion. You can be champion if you work really, really hard, but you're not going to be champion by just showing up. And that's what that's what you need to get into your head is if you show up, great, but you're not going to... You do the bare minimum, you're not getting near a title, and you need to understand that. Yeah, because you got to work you for it, man. To. You got you to gotta put some effort into it. That's why, uh, yeah. So closing out... Sorry, You do get random chances. Yes, you yes. You do get random yes, chances sometimes, and it does happen. And if you win the title, then, then you better be willing to put in some effort, otherwise people are going to turn on you. That's just how that is. Yep. If you get into a four-way match and you accidentally win the title and they didn't expect you to and you're still not putting in work, yep. then I don't know what to tell you. That's, that's on you. That's going to be some shit. So, yeah. <laughs> So this one, I don't know. Well, Dan said you've been watching more more turmoil than than Riot, so you probably can understand too. So uh, let's let's do like a hypothetical, a hypothetical, um, you know, exercise, and then we can close out with all this stuff. I hope hopefully we we touched on what needed to be touched on. If we didn't, you know, feel free as a as a listener to in the discussion thread, below. yeah, in, in the thread below, whatever. Let us know what we missed or what you want to discuss, and we can try to maybe come, uh, like you know, discuss it in the thread or whatever. But let's say hypothetically, we're, let's say hypothetically we, we go with the you know co- we'll, we'll say cold terror even with the paper plates is the tag champ we'll just call him that the paper t- the paper champ paper tag champs right and then we have seb as the as the middle guy and then we have like the top tier so try to give me names like who who would you consider top tier i'll start with the, with my my top tier uh, uh call i would say uh, uh invictus i'm sorry not invictus i would say um uh, b17 i would say rex i would say um austin lee uh, and as a wild card, as a wildy wild, well, I don't know if I can include an alt as well, an alt as well, but I would say Austin, Seth Irving, B17, um, Rex, who's the other guy I had? I had someone else. I had someone else. Fuck, what's his name? God damn it. I can't remember his name. Well, I can't remember his name, so it's not going to come to me now. But, and then, uh, I'm not going to do my wild card pick, but yeah, that, that's what I have as like, as like top right now. Um, well, who's, who's, who's your wild card, though? Like, I'm curious. The the wild that was the thing. The wild card, given given the information that I had that I have now, I don't want to say it because I I have to give it more time. So again, this is not official. This is just whatever. But you know, I don't know. My wild card would kind would kind of be, um, maybe CJ or Ricky as as the wild wild card. Honestly, like Ricky ain't bad, but he reckless. But they also rookie, so we see. Well, CJ, CJ's learning, but again, just because I watched two or three matches don't mean shit. Because when it came up, when he, when he fought Seb, it was I. Right, but he's you know he still got the business. It's not like Trash Spider, who you know he loses, but it's damn close to winning. Like if that makes any sense, mm-hmm. you know uh, that that's that's my top my top portion. Uh, for the mid portion, I would kind of say like if we had a lower tier, I would put Archer in that tier. But since we only have a mid tier, I would put Archer, uh, Jet, Seb. He's he's current champion. Uh, Seb, um, Yoko would be between like tag tag and middle. Um, I haven't seen much much of Justin Jahest and uh, and Co. Uh, Kaz is still too new, so that would be like you know the the tag area. Who else? Who else? I got. Who else? I got. Who else? What the fuck is the brain going? God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! I'm trying to think of names that, that, that pop in my head that aren't popping my head. Oh yeah, Tay, well Tay and Code obviously would be. I would say in singles competition, 
uh, Tay would be kind of like the middle, like like he would be like you know just before the middle. So, but you know, it, being tag guy, he would be you know in, in tag him and Code. Um, for the tag division, definitely Yoko, uh, definitely Kaz. Um, given if we're gonna take the wild card situation, wild card means they can kind of go anywhere. CJ Ricky, definitely Ricky as a tag team. Well, you know, with uh, uh, the Drakes, Corey obviously tag team. Um, who else am I missing? I'm, I know I'm missing mad people. I'm not giving mad people love. Cap, I need to see more of Cap. So I'm gonna put him in the same area with Cold, where I would put him between like low and mid. Like again, you're we're rumbling now. You're rumbling. What do you mean I'm rambling? So I need you? to cut you off. Yeah, you cut me off. You lost. You lost my. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I need excited. to cut you off. You're yeah. rambling. But yeah, I mean, if you're gonna have sh- fuck it, do the all, top. Just do the top. Do the top. Kill the kill the turmoil title dead instantly. Kill the turmoil title dead. Uh, unfortunately, that's been tainted by a cheat and a tank. The tank situation was fucking horrendous anyway. And then we've had a cheat for two years. So ignore that doesn't exist anymore. Bring back the CCW title, which is a spiritual turmoil. Is the CCW show? So bring back the CCW title. It's perfect for that to happen. Um, then take that CCW title and put it into the hands of a custodian. And it doesn't matter who it is. You can have a fucking Smurf match. I don't care. But it needs to be like two people who can challenge each other and are both worthy of being the champion. Unfortunately, they, for me, they both sit in Invictus at the moment. So you have a messy situation, or three of them potentially do, but I don't know if Archer's an established Ar- no. enough character yet nope. to be world champion. No. I do think B-17 and Austin Lee are. So what they, about Rex? They would be two of my choices no because rex would come in afterwards oh. and rex would then challenge at some point so rex spo- I, I don't know if it's a spoiler alert because i don't know what happened in no the spoiler. Don't, but don't, don't i'm going to assume yeah. if rex gets the future investments uh, uh, case back then he's the automatic first choices as the terminal 200 challenger maybe mm. i mean there are different variables but what you need to do is get the title as soon as possible into play and onto somebody who can carry it yeah and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter who that is because what we did with turmoil 50 uh, ambition 50 i'm going to go back to it again was we had a bank of five people that we trusted to be world champion and we kind of picked them as we got closer to the time yeah and then we crowned the champion on that show that can't happen here because turmoil needs a world champion so you need to have the match as fast as possible and the first defense be on turn two hundred. Yeah. Well oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that I agree with. That's that's why the, the issue we're having before. So so basically you said as far as top goes, you said uh something with like Rex B seventeen and, and Austin. Yeah, Rex B seventeen, Austin, and then It sounds glad handy because half of the people are in the fucking chat, but that's the on, that's the yeah, honest but, fact that I feel like. So the the there's one more that I would go with Who? that would that would give it would give I kind of it makes me sound like a hypocrite because I was against fighting him. But RD Money is a former CCW champion, so it would make sense for him to be involved in some capacity because he's probably the most famous CCW champion. <laughs> he actually said the RD Invitational, like, shut up. <laughs> I, I mean, it would be a kick in the teeth again. for the, But but then can he actually defend himself on Turmoil 200? I mean, hey, think. and if he can, he can't. Yeah, so. that's what I mean. If he if he can't, then you get a decent champion. If, if but yeah, I don't he think can't, yeah, go ahead. you get a decent champion. It, it doesn't. But I don't know if he can commit the time. Is the only thing. Yeah, and I don't think it's fair to determine more Ross if I'm if I'm honest with you. Like in the beginning well, when I saw that match too, to defend against RD Money twice. He's done that. Yeah, that's, so. that was the dude. It was it was two Xbox dudes and our and our D money and then yeah. you know the I think the other thing the other plan was a, a thirty man sim rumble and rando again I think or some shit. And then moving down, then it was some other stuff that I, I, I wasn't not even going to bother talking about. But yeah, it just feels, I don't know, weird. So uh, ask Adam. Huh? It's Adam's turn to so I know. He's, he's, he's going to say himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I know uh, you had... Uh, Sam. Who did you have, Adam? Uh, I have five, but I'm also... Oh, give, Turmoil give, hasn't aired yet. So oh. So give, give us who you can air. Who you can say. Uh, B seventeen Austin Lee Rex, uh, and I guess you can interchange Austin Lee with Seth Irving if you want to. Uh, see, that, that would have been one of my thoughts, but then I, he's feuding with Ricky at the moment, isn't he? Is that uh, right? no, I think no. that 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 wrapped up. That wrapped up. So it's basically he's going back to from if I'm if my information I received I'm correct, he's basically going to go back to like murdering rookies, which is good, old country way. 
Wherever he needs to murder um, someone, he'll murder. I was going to put CJ in there as a wild card, okay. and then I was also going to say a character whom I cannot say at this current time, but okay. will be evident after um, turmoil today. Okay. Um, Mid-card is Jet. Uh, Jet with Seb mixed in with Ricky and Capo tag team would be uh, well, I mean, Invictus could float down there with whoever's not feuding yeah. for the belt. Yeah. And then you have Jet's new... Uh, well, I guess they're not really a, a stable or anything, but, you know, he has friends that have come in. Well, he has two. I think it's I two, think two he knows and the other ones he doesn't. So I don't I don't okay. like saying the Jet crew because he's like, I don't know these people. I'm like, sorry, B. Right, okay. So the people that have just recently come in, along with... Uh, they haven't been posting lately, but Frankie... Yeah. Um, Frankie, uh, Fra- was it? Hi- Fra- is it Frankie Highwood and the other guy? No, is it Highwood Frank- and then, it was Hollywood. Um, no, Frankie Highwood and the other guy. Um, I forgot his I name. I call him Siv because I can't remember. It's Frankie Highwood. Time. It's Diamond. Je- I know Jahess is active as fuck that much. And I'm really high on both of them because I've had matches against them. They're FPR. They got good work rate. Work. But they're also they also have good solid characters. They don't look weird or anything. Nah. They don't look out of place. I like Cos. So I like them. And then obviously Code Terror. Okay. So we have, we have a potential of four or five teams. Yeah. Just in what I've named, and then three, four people in the mid card. <sighs> well, it's it's card. weird with the mid card because I kind of want like a low card, but I, I think mid card's fair. It's just that like I don't want a situation when people assume that like they're they're hot shit because once I get on them, they're gonna be like, oh god. So all right, we'll end up with Jamie. What do you what do you consider? And uh, we can wrap it up because it's been a minute. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go with Vincent Lamont, Aries, Chris Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I, I kind of echo, echo everyone else's kind of yeah. sentiments and selections for the main. Um, as much as I feel I'd very easily slot into that, I'd rather. Well, you're, cu- you're colorblind. So I can't trust you to I have championship trans, matches. I know trance is though. So we've we've buried away. trance in who chat so many times. Stop it. No, but safe pair of hands. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. But Trance that. is so much better when he has me working with him. You, you know what's funny? <laughs> See what he's doing here? That's you know what everyone thing. said, though? You know bullshit? You know what, what, what like Hoots and everyone else in between have said also? His best work has, has been with Archer because, I don't know, I guess he's motivated. It's weird. Like, I have no complaints with Archer at all. I'm like, this is, you know, I like. I wish you did this with Trance. You just kind of like, I don't know, I guess it's because you enjoy the character. Or maybe it's not a lot of work or maybe you actually have a support system. So it's not just you with people who flaked on you. So I, I don't know. Yeah. That does make it. It sounds real glad handy, but that's the fucking honest truth. But that would, guy's too new. I would construct a main roster. And it's, it's similar to what everyone said. Yes. If I had trans, you can flop that in as well. Midcard, I think, needs to handle itself. I think yeah. Midcard needs to discover what they are. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of people used to complain about being segregated into sections, and someone who is no longer with us took a lot of offense to being the TV guy. No one likes Loki Adam, stop typing it. Um, <laughs> tag wise, will fix itself as well. Yeah. So really, ultimately, the only one that you not so much pick, but the 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 one you lay foundations for, for top. should just be middle. Oh, middle. I'm sorry. Top, top. Sorry, middle should deal with itself. Okay, I'm 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 cool with that. So yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up for us. Uh, again, I don't know if I touched on it or not, but. We're gonna we're gonna move forward. We're gonna we're gonna fix everything, and we got you back. And we're we're gonna work it to it together. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be perfect. And there's also I'm sure there's always gonna be something to complain about or whatever. But all I want from you guys is, as I said before, right? Fight, keep it moving. For your shows, for your turmoil shows, there shouldn't be like you know single digit views on YouTube, you know, for like a day plus if you're all actually watching the matches. So watch what you like, comment on what you care about, and show a little bit of enthusiasm. We're not t- telling you to write. 9,000 page reviews not none of that but if you have an opinion that's fine state your opinion and extrapolate on that opinion explain why we don't always have to disagree but we have to get as a community as as a, as a, as a group we have to get these conversations going for better or for worse shit ain't perfect all the time that's fine 
but we got to get to the conversations. That's how you learn better. And it's okay to disagree, agree to disagree. So with that being said, I wanted to thank, uh, I want to thank Jacob Trans Thomas Archer, AKA Jamie, the former GM who failed everybody. I want to thank the, <laughs> the most evilest man against turmoil, Paul Pugh. And I want to thank the fucking guy <laughs> who's been fired from OCW multiple times. It's crazy. See, like, you know, but you, the, the thing that all brings us together, despite any like residual bad blood or wh- whatever bullshit that we've had in the past or whatever, is the fact that everybody here, as far as I can tell, is in it for OCW, not themselves. And with that being said, I want to thank everybody so much. Any closing thoughts, Dan? Here's my closing thought. Yeah. Ready? Go ahead. I'm just gonna <laughs> you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh. No, no, no. Just, just all you need to do is just be. You just need to be a human being in OCW and then you get over. I mean, I've not been a human being, but no, I, when I first started, I was a human being. Kind of, yeah. I was humble and shit. Remember that? Yeah. But I came back for the yeah. eighth yeah. time. Okay, so. so. <laughs> I can hear somebody masturbating. What no, the fuck is that? I don't know what you're hearing. It's probably someone's Did you hear out. that? I don't know what you heard. It's something <laughs> like that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's probably Jamie tapping his stomach because he's hungry. Uh, Jamie, closing thoughts. Um, I'm hungry. Um, okay. Just, so if anyone I. needs help, ask. There's no point. Yeah. Sitting ask. there panicking, or ask. if you ask for help, at least give the people that you want to help you some something. Yeah. And um, I just saw a post in, in. Sorry, just to cut you off. I just saw a post in advice that was, "Can somebody help me write an RP?" No, you write the RP, then we'll help you with it afterwards. You yeah, put what you think perfect. an RP is, and then we'll work on it. Yeah, so type that. Like, no, you put in the RP, and we'll help you with it. Uh, Adam, closing thoughts? Um, I think that what we're going to do in the future is going to be rough for a little bit. But ultimately, I don't think anyone should be concerned long term, because everyone's going to continue to do what they did before, and... Mm-hmm. The content's still going to be there. We still have enough people, yeah. so it's hard to be it's hard to be concerned when you have this present for you daily. You, you know what? The hilarious fact is, sorry, just to cut you off, but just to put that in perspective. So in in 2012 and 13, we had maybe 12, 13 people actually active. Now we have that on both sides. We have double the amount of people that we had. We had two. We have two shows. We have. 46 members have logged in today and that's 91 not including the smurf bounce. 91 what? not including uh what you call it not including alts yeah so <laughs> we've we've got that many members so this this isn't a problem no this is a nice problem to have because yes. this means that you if you're listening to this that's your spot now yep take that spot mm-hmm. and if you didn't you can try harder that's basically what we is and uh yeah uh in closing Shit, I forgot what I was going to say. It was something interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. I really didn't have to fix uh, all that much for Turmoil, so I'm going to try to get it up as soon as possible because... I'm looking forward to seeing the ending. It's it's funny because, like, what was done, it was, like, a lot, like, I thought that I had to, like, restructure stuff. Like, yeah, I took care of it. Like, you had, mo- you know, it's good. Uh, so, that's it. So, thank you for coming out. In the words of... Uh, oh, no, fuck it. I'll just say that. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. God bless. Good night, and uh, go fuck yourself. We're done. <laughs>